What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Seven Figure Fitness Business Podcast. It's your host, Iggy Odigizua, here to help you stay calm, change lives, and have life and business on your terms. Today, we're going to be talking about turning your business into a client compounding machine. Now, I love business. I love building businesses. I love creating the structures. I love thinking through the strategy. But what I love even more, and this is where my nickname, Mr. Boring Money, comes from, I love boring money. I love producing cash flow in a business. I love cash flowing assets. So for me, my greatest assets in all of our portfolio that outperforms every single thing that I know I could put a dollar into and actually $21 come back is in my businesses. It's not in crypto. It's not in real estate. It's not in all these different assets that I have a lot of that I have a substantial amount of our net worth in. It's actually in our business, right? So the question is, how do you turn your business into a seriously compounding machine that continues to produce cash flow month after month that allows you to have a lifestyle that you love, but then allows you to actually start taking some of that cash flow and investing it into other asset classes. I've talked about this before. There are really four things to scaling a business to seven figures, but I never talked about like how do you sustain that growth and actually set your business up to go beyond seven figures and cross that eight figure mark, right? So just a quick recap, if you haven't seen the other episode, some of the other team is going to, if you're watching on, on YouTube, some of the other team is actually going to have like the card to the four things needed to grow and scale any business. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen, okay? Don't click off it right now, watch it later. But a quick recap, the four things you need. You need an offer that's cold traffic friendly. You need to profitably market. You need a strong sales team. And you need to make sure your fulfillment system doesn't break, right? So those are really the four things. Once you solve your cold traffic uh, offer, next question is how do we profitably increase ad spend? How do we build a sales team that converts consistently? And how do we keep our fulfillment from breaking, right? So. Mastering those things is going to take you to seven figures guaranteed. Now the question is, how do we sustain that and turn that into a compounding machine? It's all in the fulfillment. It's really in how you build your fulfillment system and how you design and orchestrate your client journey to start spitting out more clients. So one of the things that we'll do is I like to design a way to survey our clients and figure out who's getting great results and loving every single thing about the program. Once we find that, we segment those audience, those clients into two different audiences, really three different audiences. So we have our raving fan clients, we have our clients who are producing results, and then we have our clients who are struggling. The team is gonna focus on the clients who are struggling, providing the most support for those clients so that they can increase the results and turn them into raving fans. The clients who are raving fans, we start reaching out to them to ask them for referrals. And we ask them to post about our business in their network, right? So now those clients are start raving about the product and the service that we're delivering to them. They start raving about our business to their friends and to their family and to those other professionals in their network. Guess what happens? Those people come to check out the business. Now they come through, get on a call with one of our sales reps, become a client, and the cycle repeats. So now as we're spending money to acquire one client, that one client is being systematically turned into two to three clients. Those two to three clients are systematically being turned into two to three more clients. And now it creates this compounding effect that even if you wanted to stop the growth, right, barring you doing anything catastrophic to destroy your reputation, that kind of business is going to be very, very difficult to stop and slow down because the compound machine just continues to go, right? So if you want to be able to do that very well, Right, you've got to be in a position where it makes sense to really invest into developing the back end of your business. And a lot of people spend so much time developing the back end and they completely forget to get acquisition going. Right, developing the back end of your business and turning it into a compounding machine is an ongoing work that never stops. Right, whereas, like, once you have a, a converting acquisition system, the only question is you're asking, how do we increase more spend? How do we keep our sales team converting? And how do we make sure fulfillment doesn't break? This is a very simple process to scale the business to where it's doing seven figures. The process of going from seven to eight figures requires you to really be product obsessed 
obsess with your client results, obsess with your client fulfillment, obsess with your client experience, and building these processes and systems in the back end to turn these clients and start turning one client into two clients, into three clients, into four clients, and creating this compounding machine as you build your reputation and as more and more people start to find out about what you're able to do and the impact that you're having on their life. So as you're building your business, sequencing is really important. A lot of you who are watching this and who are listening, you're fitness professionals and you love your clients. You love getting people results. So do I. That's why I got into the business and that's why I'm still in the business to this day, right? Because I love the transformations that are produced. I'm addicted to seeing people transform their lives for the better, right? I love being able to help people transform their lives and also help love being able to help people transform their businesses. But if you don't get the acquisition fixed, you don't even have the resources to make sure you're delivering the best possible client experience on the back end. So understanding sequencing when you're building your business is really important. Understand that in the beginning, because you lack infrastructure, because you lack systems, because you lack automations, because you lack, lack operational efficiency, you compensate by over delivering with your time and attention. And so you over deliver with your time and attention so that you can figure out the acquisition, get the acquisition more predictable so that for every dollar you spend, you get $4 back when it comes to paid marketing. Now, once you get that to a point where it's consistent and you have the surplus of cash flow to start to invest into the back end of your business and improving the operational efficiency of your business and start to put in some of these automations, some of these audience segmenting that I talk about, that's when you can really start to scale your business and do some incredible things with it. But you have to do it in the right order. And a lot of fitness professionals get this wrong. They're trying to build a perfect fulfillment system when they don't have any clients to fulfill. Spending your time building the perfect fulfillment system when you only have 20 clients is a waste of time. Get the acquisition done, get it dialed in, because once you have a good acquisition system, for the 4% club, it went to eight figures with one acquisition system. And over a three year period, that acquisition system only changed twice, two times, right? So you can build a very big business once you get the acquisition dialed in, that's gonna give you the bandwidth to really focus on the back end of the business, which is what creates a compounding effect that allows the business to sustain its growth and dominate the market. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast, like, share this video. If you want more free content and you wanna see what's going on, follow our pages. Till next time, stay calm, change lives, and have life and business on your terms. Deuces.